Hi everyone and welcome back. So we talked about Docker Compose in some of our previous videos. So what Docker Compose is giving? Ability to create containers locally on our system. But what our application does when we deploy it, we obviously now using these vendors, AWS, I mean infra vendors, it can be AWS, Azure or GCP. We are not just uh, having our own infrastructure and deploying these or creating these containers for our application. Okay, most of the enterprises using these cloud vendors like AWS, they are using uh, AWS Kubernetes engine, uh, Kubernetes cluster. So they are using these managed services provided by AWS and Azure. Okay, so container in the cloud, what all services which are available, which are helping us to create containers in the cloud. Earlier, we used to create EC2 instance, maybe a Azure instance and all to deploy our application. Now, it is the container world, right? Here, we are actually containerizing the application. We are splitting the services into multiple microservices where individual microservices can live inside these individual containers. We are just doing load balancing, scaling and all these things happening with the help of Kubernetes uh, services, right? So when we talk about the cloud, what all services are available provided by these vendors, if I want to deploy my application inside a container, Docker container, you can say, because they either use Docker containers, Rocket and all these containers, but Docker is more popular for the container runtime engines. Okay, so ECS, Elastic Container Service. Before Kubernetes cluster, this is already available on AWS through this, we can actually choose what all what all type of instances you want to create these containers. So we, we will be creating containers on the EC2 instance or AWS Fargate. Okay, these are the two platform available. We are defining our application just through the AWS console. Okay, I need these containers, type of the containers, the, the runtime engine. What is the basic image you want that you can get from the ECR, Amazon ECR, Elastic Container Registry, okay? And then you will manage the container through the uh, Elastic Container Service that is provided by Amazon, AWS. Similarly, now that is converted into, I mean, not converted, that is separate. And now if you wanted to use Kubernetes cluster, then there is an EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service. So you can actually create a master and uh, worker nodes. Okay, you can actually provision EKS cluster on AWS either using Fargate or either using EC2 instance, you can connect to this EKS cluster and run Kubernetes apps by deploying them here. Okay, similar platform, we have a Google Cloud, Google Kubernetes engine on the Google Cloud platform, same kind of environment is provided by them. So Google platform also providing us a feature or you can say managed service to create a Kubernetes cluster. Similarly, we have an Azure Kubernetes service where you can you can use Azure services, Azure managed services to create a Kubernetes cluster and deploy our applications. Internally, because Kubernetes is an engine, right? Core engine, it is going to be the same. Only the infra provided by Google, uh, Microsoft using Azure or Amazon using AWS are different. Okay. Internally, the mechanism of this architecture, internal architecture of Kubernetes is kind of same. We have a master and we have worker node, we have an API server, we have a kubelet, kube proxy, all these components are kind of same. Okay, this is all about theoretical aspects which I wanted to cover. Now, I will be covering every practical aspects about all these things with the help of Node.js. Okay, thanks everyone.